This is Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Next week, I'm so excited. It's time for our Stampin' Up! convention. And one of the things that we do at convention is swaps. And this year, I'm participating in an organized swap. An organized swap is where you meet a specific group of people that you've all agreed on a theme or some style of project. Usually it's cards. I've never done an organized swap at convention before. This one is for tags. A fellow demonstrator, Monica Davis, is organizing a swap. Monica puts tags on her bags when she delivers them. She would like us all to exchange 16 tags so we can all come home with new ideas. This is my tag for my swap. Normally, when we're making swaps for convention, we've already seen the retired list. So, making swaps, it's kind of nice to have ideas for products that will be in the catalog. I've got a good feeling that this one will be. I don't know for sure, but, but I love timeless textures. I've got my fingers crossed that it will be in the catalog. Another set that I'm hoping will be in the catalog is Rose Wonder. Again, I have no idea. But I'm just using this for the greetings, for thank you. If this isn't in the new catalog, there will be a thank you stamp, I'm sure. The first thing you'll need is a piece of cardstock. I'm using the thick Whisper White. This Whisper White cardstock is just under two inches wide, so it will fit in our scallop tag topper punch. It's about five and a half inches long and I'm punching that. And this will be the base for my tag. I wanted to add some texture, so I'm using some mint macaron cardstock, but I'm actually going to get enough to make four tags with this piece of cardstock. It is about two and a half inches wide, and also about five and a half inches long. And I'm bending it on my bone folder, and really what I want to do is break down the fibers so that I can separate this. So I'm going back and forth both ways through the whole piece of cardstock. You want to avoid tearing the edge like I did right here, but it's okay if you do. Don't worry about it. As you break down the layers, the cardstock will start to separate. Our cardstock is not two layers of paper, but the process, I think what happens is um, it's pressing from the outside, and the inside, as you're rolling it back and forth, separates. And so we're splitting it. And you want to be really careful at this point, um, especially any place where you might have torn the edges. I'm feeling that this layer is a little bit thinner, so I'm going to actually put my thinner layer down and pull the thicker layer up. And as it gets to be more even, if you just pull it evenly both sides, it will separate. Don't worry if it separates totally, just come at it from a different angle. Kind of the purpose of this is to get that rough look, and so it's okay. We want that rough look. One of the criteria for these projects were no over the top, and this part might be a little over the top. I don't think so, but if you do, um, you can skip this part altogether. Uh, you'll get a similar look, but without the texture. Okay, so now I want actually to just tear this diagonally. And you do want a rough cut on here. I'm just going to pull that piece off altogether.
I'm tearing up towards me and I'm making little tears so that I get roughly, roughly straight. I do not want a super straight edge on this though. Okay, and again, I'll tear this kind of diagonally. So now out of that one piece of cardstock, I have four pieces and when you're making swaps, you're making multiples. So I could actually stack these up and as long as they're under that two inches, they'll go in. There's parts of here. This one's a little bit wide. And I found that actually this punch works better if you're using more than one there. layer. Now they're all the way in. So now I'm just gonna punch. Now the tops are going to be nice and neat, but the bottoms are going to be everything but neat. But I love this kind of loose texture look to them. My first stamping will get a little messy, so I'm using a scrap of paper underneath. I'm using this, I'm calling it the blurry stamp, this texture here with mint macaron. Mint Macaron, I'm pretty sure, will be a, around for another year because it's one of our in colors from this current year. So I'm going to ink that up. And I want to stamp the sides. And I'm kind of stamping multiple times. I don't want to have any edges of the stamp. Do the same on the other side. I've got it kind of at an angle so that um, so that it kind of fades off at the end. And then I'm just going to glue this layer on top. It is mint macaron on mint macaron, but I just thought that um, the stamped image kind of helps this fade off into the distance. And this is a little bit bigger than my tag, so I'm going to tear this little edge off. If you are not comfortable tearing that off, you can also use the adhesive eraser on this rough paper and actually erase some of that edge for that same rough look. You don't want to mess with the textured paper. Just stamp a little bit more of your mint macaron, then continue with the stamping as before. And I think you'll have a real similar look to it. Next, I'm going to use the dotted image with Blushing Bride ink. I'm putting this stamp at an angle. I think I'm actually going to go opposite the angle that this paper is at. Next, I'm going to use Soft Suede with this Fleur de Lis image. And I'm stamping that down at the bottom and at the top corner, kind of both of them at angles. I'm using the curvy corner punch to punch the bottom corners. This is another product that I sure hope sticks around for another year. I love it. Next we'll add the greeting. I'm using just a scrap of Blushing Bride. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the Thank You from Rose Wonder. And then I need to texturize this too by using this kind of splotchy stamp. I'm just stamping that on either side of the word. Punch this out with our large oval punch. Perfect fit. You could always um, sponge this if you want. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. 
using some linen thread. I think that that's got a good chance of being in the catalog. It seems to be a regular, so I've got my fingers crossed for that. Our linen thread is actually two ply. When you untwist it, you'll actually see those threads separating, and we're going to just separate that out. So I'll put one finger in. It is twisted a lot, so, la so allow it to untwist. And do the same on this end. And this gives you enough for two tags. Putting a little bit of adhesive here. Snail is a good choice here. And we're going to use one of those pieces. Some people just kind of wrap it around and stick it on. I'm a little bit more of a control freak, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I like to put the end on the adhesive and then loop it around and maybe do some figure eights or loops and stick it onto this adhesive each time I go past. If you twist it a little bit, it'll help lay flat where you want it. And that way my ends won't be sticking out. Now we're going to just put the greeting on top of that adhesive to cover that up. I've got about eight inches of mint macaron dotted lace trim. If I were a betting person, I would not bet that this would be in the catalog next year. A lot of times these specialty ribbons do get um, discontinued. If you love this as much as I do, get some now. Just fold it in half, poke it through the hole, reach through the hole, grab your ends and tug it. Tug it gently and that makes a nice um, tie. That's my swaps. I thought I had tons of this. I will be buying some more, but I didn't have enough time to get some before convention. I did have some of the tip top taupe. Lakes. Some of my swaps will have this dyed um, tip top taupe lace dyed with soft suede. Now for myself, I don't make a lot of tags. When I deliver my products, I deliver it with a homemade card, but every tag is also a card idea. I use the same curvy corners. I did try this with tip top taupe ribbon and tip top taupe ink, and frankly I like it better with the soft suede. So I've got some more ribbon dyed to make some card swaps as well. If you would like to get some of this dotted lace ribbon or any of the supplies that I've mentioned, come on over to BevAdams.com. I've got lots of ideas on my website. You can shop just by clicking the Shop Now button and that will take you to the Stampin' Up! store. I also have a frequent shopper rewards program over there, so check that out. I'd love to be your demonstrator. Talk to you soon. Bye.